Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Sovereignty of Scotland. So, guys, I think today's the day. Today's the day where we are going to be declaring war on the British for reasons. Reasons that cannot be described into simple words as, as tyranny or as enemies or as um, devious. These words that we speak of the British are much deeper and much more rooted than that. Today I feel like it's going to be the day where, where the Highlanders are going to come up on top and defeat the almighty powers of the English army. Now, our army is not as big as theirs. We definitely don't have the numbers advantage, but what we do have, we have the heart advantage. And I believe with that, we will win a victory in the up and coming years. A victory that will spell the end of the British Empire. And bring us about the rule of the Scottish glorious empire. Okay, everyone, now we're back. Now that I'm done being all, like, chanty. We're back here in our game of EU4, where, as you guys can see, we're still the leader of the Holy See. I don't know how we maintain this. Is it because this guy? Or is it just luck? Either way, we still are the leader, and we're also advancing in administrative tech. We should be, like, one of the first people who got administrative tech 5. Like, seriously, no one should have gotten administrative tech 5 before us. Yep. Yay! And England is a backwater country! <laughs> England looks like such a backwater country to compare to us. Like, there's England, and then there's us, the loyal, the cool Scottish people who are just like, yeah, we're cool. We're totally, totally have more power. But anyways, guys, today what's gonna happen is, is that in a couple days, the, the peace with France, the peace with England will soon be done, July 40th. Exactly. The peace will be done, and what we're going to do is we're going to capitalize on it and directly declare war on the on the English. You know, and we might not even have to like fully fight the British in the beginning either, because maybe the, what will happen is maybe the French will just instantly fight them and you know take all the land. I don't know. But we're gonna wait like a couple days to see if maybe the the British want to do anything of, you know, importance, and then we'll see what happens. Well, I'm going to gain a stability anyway, so I don't even have to think about it, but let's see, the peace is about to end, it's about to end on July, that's literally one month away, one month, everyone you ready? So one month, and... He's, oh wait, two months, sorry, whoops, I thought it was June! Okay, and there we go, they are officially at peace. So let's see, would France want to join in a war against these people? My answer would be yes, but let's see what France's answer is. They are embargoed, wow, they just instantly embargoed each other, they were like, eh, embargo, okay. France would definitely want to join in and take Cumbria, which means we definitely have a good kind of good semi-ally. That These guys, the French would be a good counteraction to the Portuguese, which means we'd have the Portuguese basically beat, but allied with England and Castile. But the question then becomes... Is there anyone else I can include in this? I, I don't think we ever got enough relationships with Castile to make them like us enough. Yeah, we never did. Uh, yeah, are we ready, though? This is the real question. Are we ready for the war? Well, let's see. How many armies are on the main continent? Let's start counting the armies so we know exactly what we're dealing with. There's a 5k right there. So that's 5. There's two 12ks. Uh, I'm hesitant to say this, but if we were to declare war, war, we would have to raise a total of 28 or 30k at least to match them. 
And then I'm guessing that the manpower is completely recovered. Uh, yeah, probably. Let's see, England, England, England. Yeah, the man, the manpower is completely recovered. So that means they could gain back everything that they win, or everything that we kill from them. They could instantly gain back. So it would basically be no victory at all. I don't like that, but that's basically the facts. So, ah. Uh, I guess we postpone this for a little bit more because we honestly don't have the strength to attack Britain at full speed or full manpower. Um, what I'm hoping to ha what I'm hoping is going to happen is that the uh, French declare war on the uh, British by themselves without our pro without our provocation, and then we just kind of enter in a little bit later than that. You know, let the British let the British try to fight this war, and then go declare war. I bas basically I'm waiting for the for the English to like get busy with someone so I can instantly go fight them myself. Also, apparently they have a they have a core on Utrecht. Oh, poor Utrecht. Wait, they are allied with Bremen, Mecklenburg, and Lu and Luxembourg. Eh. They could at least live a little bit if the English wanted to fight them. But not for very long. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, this... Man, this Cold War between me and the English just getting me really, really uncomfortable. Like, I just know at some point it's going to explode, but... We don't know when. No one knows when. Just waiting... The Scottish are waiting for the English to start attacking us. And the English are waiting for the Scottish to start attacking How old is my general, by the way? The call for the Reich's reform! That's not good. That already happened. The end of the Peasants' War. That was the quickest Peasants' War I've ever seen. What the heck? I wish my Peasants' War went like that. Okay, but how old is Robert? How old is he? Because if he's... This guy, we can't let die too soon because he's a really good general. And we're not going to have another opportunity to get a general like this. A new Cardinal. Good. So we have another active cardinal in our mix, who made it all the way up to the, into the Scottish lands. Um, yeah, the person we would have to be destroying right now is France, but we can't fight France because France is just, it has too much power as it is, and if we did that, we'd probably weaken our other two guys who tried to go into power. Um, let's do that. There we go. Okay. So... Okay, let's see, are we ahead in military? No, we are not. But, and we don't really need that right now, because we already have a god general. So, let's see. They probably got military attack 4. Ooh, maybe we should attack when we have military attack 5. 1 tech ahead. Um, tech 4, tech 5, we have infantry, combat width, a little bit bigger. Combat 5, we have supply limits. We have, we already have improved morale, uh, tech, yeah, and then we have an extra shock to our guys, to our main infantry, I, let's just say this, it would be better to have, it'd be better to have that, like, you know, tech 5 over the tech 4 of the British, that might give us a serious edge. At least for a little bit. Ah, oh, man. This uneasy piece, though, man. This uneasy piece. I'm really feeling it, guys. I'm really feeling it. I'm, I'm really... I really wanted to declare war, but it really... This, if I rush into this, this could end the entire Let's Play. I mean, that's... I, I don't want to put any pressure on myself, but that's the kind of pressure I kind of feel like I'm under. If I rush this, we could potentially end the Let's Play now. And I don't want to do that. I want to do great things with the nation of Scotland. So. Hmm. <laughs> let's get our. Let's get our upgrade to. A little bit of combat with. A little bit of shock. And supply limits. And infantry. Get our new infantry. In order. And. Let's see. How are we doing in the papal seat? Oh man. We're losing. 
pretty quickly. So I'm gonna just keep these guys on. Maybe we might be able to keep them. Let's see, are they are these guys gonna try to fight me for these guys? They might. The one guy we can't let out around is a French guy. The French guy is the one that's gonna kill us if we try to do anything. Let's gain back our guy. Wait, why did you not invest in that cardinal? Wait, what? Wait, why did you not invest in that cardinal? Oh shoot. And now we're starting to lose everything to all these other cardinals. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Whoever is, who's fighting me here? France, Castile, everyone's fighting me for that cardinal. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so glad I'm loved. Okay. But, um, we can build some, something. Uh, we already have level 2 forts everywhere, so let's increase our manpower by a little bit. In North, in Northwind. Okay. And... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, people. I really don't. But I think I think what I'm going to try to do is they must be right. Yeah, let's just get to the warrior ahead and dip low right now. So let's just get the hit right there. But I think I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to attack the English when I have military tech 5. And where I have a whole entire advantage on the onto them. Plus I have oh. Plus I have a new troop type. Um which should make it much easier for us to fight and do a lot more stuff. Oof. Let's build a little bit of a war chest. And I wish, I kind of wish the War of the Ro Roses would come out right now. This would be a good time. Like a sanely good time for it to come up. Okay. Mm. Man, this is, I, I feel really tense. I don't know why. I feel like this is going to be, this is going to be an attack. I don't know if right, if this is the right time or if I should just wait some more. I mean, it's really hindsight's 50/50. <laughs> I guess as they as they say, but this is crucial hindsight 50/50. If this does not go the way we planned, then okay. First off, make sure you get the right cardinal this time. There we go. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And France is fighting me really hard for that cardinal. Okay, yeah, France really wants to become the paper controller. Um, I'm going to cancel out those guys. I'm just going to let Pacini die. I don't think he's going to make it all the way even, even if he does. And even if he does, I don't mind this guy making it all the way. I have to make sure France doesn't make it in right now, or Lithuania, or Bohemia. If those guys don't make it in, we're fine. But if they do make it in, we are not good. Okay. Wow, this is a seriously massive amounts of peace that the uh, French are going through. So, let's see. We're going to, we have a somewhat of a good war chest. We're going to do this. And my plan is, I think, is that I'm going to try to kill off the top army, the one right there very quickly like in the first like two days of the war so so what we're going to do is take a couple of massive amounts of loans nine ten we're going to build an entirely new army one two three four five six seven eight and then two more Latin Knights. One, two. Okay. Completely go over our force limit. Go to about 21 troops. I'm pretty sure with the advantages this guy already has, a 3-5, that's basically going to destroy any chance they're ever going to have against us. Plus our tactical advantages, I'm, I'm hesitant to say it, but I believe with all this in mind, we should be able to destroy those guys pretty quickly. Alright. 
I'm like, I'm like really tense right now, people. It's like, this is, this is really happening. I only have a limited amount of time before this, before this uh, amount of troops bankrupts me. Let's see. Uh, it will receive for the next 20 years. Hmm. That's nice, at least France thinks of us. So everyone, now we're getting subsidies from France. That's good. Oh, shoot. Okay, Austria's inherit everything. Huh? Austria didn't inherit everything? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, Austria didn't inherit anything? Oh, never mind. They... They did. Okay. And... With that, I believe the French are probably ready for this war. Um... Uh, let's see, I've taken out 14 loans. Uh, a little bit more men, I could probably just demolish that army. Alright, let's just get 48. Alright, and 48. Latin medieval knights. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, this should be enough if I combine all these guys That's basically about the same amount of army the British have but I'm gonna just use it all in one troop Completely and utterly hopefully route them in one good attack 29 29 men Okay I Feel like I'm ready They're They're engaging in some other people's attacks I'm going to stop asking the Pope kindly for stuff and taking more loans I knew that was gonna happen and everyone I want to thank you guys for watching if this is the end of this let's play so be it but the war! okay so quickly go go my men go as fast as you mother beeping can okay so down time yes okay we just got that extra boost to tradition and stability. That means we are basically rocking the 3.7 war morale. So our troops should... Oh. Oh, and shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Also, Navy, go dock up right now. Don't don't even try to fight the British. All right, let's see. You're going to 5th, 4th. Get right here. All right. And let's see, 12th, 11th, there we go, should be able to go catch him. Games in the air, we'll be this. Yes, okay, the first British army has been defeated, chase him down. The second British army should be somewhere around here. Unless, by chance, I got lucky and they already started shipping out. There might have been a chance. Oh my goodness. There might have been a chance. They might have shipped out already. Okay. Did I get really that lucky? Destroy those guys. Alright. Um. Go right here to Cumbria. Alright. Leave some men here. Go right here to Derby. Cause I don't, I don't know. What I'm gonna do is basically spread my men thin. And we're basically going to um, watch the British by not watching them. Okay. I'm gonna have one of my troops just keep squashing as many of their as the soldiers as we can. I'm gonna have one troop, of course, on Cumbria. To make sure we kill them. Yeah, just keep, keep on squashing them. Right. You guys just go down, go squash whatever you can. All right, leave some men here so we make sure we get the war goal. Go. As you guys can see, the British are building up as quickly as they can because they are. They're probably scrambling. They're like, oh shoot, the Scottish are invading. We did not prepare for this. So we have to quickly go attack them. Ah, oh, 
for what they guys watching see you guys next time